Hello, today we will be showing you how to set up your Elon internet workstation that you'll be using with our iGel uh, computers. My name is John, I'm from the microcomputers department and you can reach us at extension 6275. Uh, for the purpose of this video, we will be unboxing everything. So as you see all of the items laid out in front of you today, they will already be unboxed and unwrapped. So we're gonna go ahead and start with how to set up the monitor. And when you open up the monitor box, uh, you're gonna have a couple items. This is the base plate of the monitor. This is the neck, that, uh, this neck stand that will hold the monitor into place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in. And it locks in like so. There is also a cable clipping. Uh, you just pop this onto the back of the monitor stand as well and it locks into place. And then here is your monitor. And on the monitor, there is a little slot here that will connect to the slot here of the monitor as well. So if I just take this, connect the two like so, and it is locked into place. So with the monitor, you're also going to have a video cable. And this video cable was actually placed inside of the printer box. So you'll see a black cable like this, and this end goes into the monitor, and this other end, which is called the display port cable uh, input, will plug into your internet machine. So here is the VGA side of that cable. We just turn this over in the back of the computer, plug this in to the port here on the back, screw in the finger screws and it's in place and then lastly with the monitor this is the power cable so this is the side that will go into the monitor and of course this will go into your power strip and we just pop it in like so so we have your VGA cable your power cable and then again this is the other end that will go into the computer all right, so we have unboxed our computer, which we will be calling an iGel machine. So if you ever call into the department, just say my iGel is having issues, okay? But basically this is the little computer tower and this is the power adapter that comes with it. And this is the power cord that will go into the uh, power strip. So plug those two in. And then on the back of the computer, it is on the bottom of the computer that you'll plug that in as well. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to plug in the monitor keyboard and mouse to this little guy. We're gonna take the monitor first. Here's your monitor. And the cable that's important for the monitor is the video cable. And this is called a, a display port cable. And there's actually two ports that will fit it. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. Just go ahead and pop it in like that. And it should lock into place. Okay, and then next, you would just need your keyboard and mouse. And they're both USB cables that would plug in. Doesn't matter which one is first. If you're familiar with plugging in a cell phone charger or anything like that, it's the same USB style. There's two ports in the back. Just go ahead and pick one. And for the, uh, for the keyboard, pick the other. So you have now your power cord plugged in. You have your video adapter. And then your keyboard and mouse all plugged into the back. Okay, this is your HP printer, which will be connected via USB to your computer. Uh, the key is, when you unbox it, you're gonna have a ton of these little orange tabs that are holding items in place. Just remove all of them, uh, and then you'll get down to the printer itself. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and place the tray and make sure that we have our slot here that holds the paper opened up. So this will fit your basic eight by 11 uh, paper. This is where the paper sits, and this is going on top to house the rest of the paper. So that's your two items there. And then the back of the printer has your power cord 
that just goes right here. And it is going right there. And then we'll also have a USB cable which will plug in to your computer. All right, so we have our printer, we have our computer, and the rest of our uh, items. What we're doing is we're plugging in this USB printer into the computer itself. So you'll take the uh, fatter side of the USB cable. There is an actual cover on this because people are going away from USB, but you'll just take this off. And once you take it off, just pop it in, pop it in, and then the other end of the USB cable, of course, will go to the front of the computer. We have ports here, and pop that in like so as well. 